Right. Hello, Marty here from MartyCon Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to make, how to customize a texture using another texture pack on the Minecraft. As you can see down here, I've got two folders: one Minecraft and one very oddly named. I just couldn't be bothered to name it at the time. It's from the it's the Quandary pack um, from 1.7.3. As you can see in here, it's 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 like all the terrain things are in here. You'll see it's a folder called Terrain. That's what you want to keep an eye on. So here we go. Go in the Start menu, percent app data percent and click enter and for some reason one second why did that happen percent app data percent that's what should have happened so you click on the click on that once you've done that uh, go into minecraft folder in the bin and find the minecraft jar just right click on it open with WinRAR Archiver just like when you uh, when I showed you how to do the mods now if you click on one start typing terrain dot PNG if it goes to a folder just start typing terrain dot PNG instead but yeah there it is there's the terrain what you want to do is copy that so control C I've got it in a uh, in my minecraft folder already but I'll paste it yep replace now what you want is some sort of program like paint.net which is free so it's like photoshop but cheaper and well it's free but it's obviously cheaper made and stuff what you want to do is open both of them up so that's the minecraft one and the one from the quandary pack there we go now uh, as you can see we've got all our things here I've got like the uh, the glowstone here as you and the lapis blocks like you've seen in previous videos what I'm going to do because you'll notice you'll notice here all the stuff is in the same sort of block area like nothing's ch different I think it's because the way Minecraft is programmed what I might do is change my two doors as you can see the doors are up here in the corner I want to grab the ones from the quandary pack Do I? Yeah, let's just do the doors. So, what you want to do is use the uh, rectangular select tool here and just drag it from corner to corner. Boom. And um, Control X, so you cut it. Control V, and there we go, we've got it there. Now, I think behind it, no, they're just levers and torches, okay. I was going to say, I think behind it was the sides of the doors, but no, it's not. Okay, so if that's it, then that's basically everything I need to do for the doors, by the looks of things. But yeah, that's basically how you do it, just copy and paste it in there. You want to save it, and then, uh, oh. Just back out of paint.net. Uh, and we, if we go into Minecraft one, here we go. There's the doors there, along with pumpkins and all all the other stuff I've edited, basically. Now, ooh, now what you want to do is copy that. So Control C, go back in here, delete your original terrain.png, and then paste your new one in. And there it is. So, providing we've done everything right, you go into Minecraft. Well, for me, it's Minecraft. Log in. Nah, 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 nah. Single player. Go in my single player world. And as you can see, I've got my newly edited doors. And that's all there is to it really, it's just a copy and paste job from the um, Quandary texture pack. Because I use the 1.7.3 one because I don't really like the new one, like the glowstone especially and the uh, lapis doesn't look very nice to me so I use the 1.7.3 version. Be quiet cows. So yeah that's basically how you uh, modify textures. And if you want to make your own, it's the same sort of principle. 
but you just edit it yourself rather than um, like instead of copying stuff in you just paint it yourself like you're making a new picture or something like that just replace the, all the different pixels with other things but yeah I hope this helped if it did give it a like I know I winded on a little bit <laughs> but um, yeah give it a like if it helped if you enjoyed it give it a like as well it's much appreciated um, well I just hope to see you in the next video I hope you enjoyed it uh, goodbye